A lateral approach to the distal humerus is utilized. The first flex nail entry point is created above the olecranon fossa. The first C-shaped flex nail is passed into the intramedullary canal. Rotation of the flex nail aids in passing the flex nail across the fracture site and obtaining a preliminary reduction. The second entry point is created just distal and posterior to the first. An S-shaped flex nail is templated and bent. The S-shaped flex nail is first placed backwards and passed through the lateral column into the intramedullary canal, taking care not to violate the medial cortex.